Yeah, and it helps. Good. Okay. Go ahead. Are you rolling? Yeah. Okay, we're at uh, Pedro Mir's house now, and we're looking at some of the memorabilia he's had over the years. And uh, first thing to start with, Pedro, I guess, is this is the first highlight roster. The first professional highlight roster to play in the United States of America. All right, how about explaining this picture that we're looking at? Who's that man in the middle? That, is, that's the, the player manager. that is the player manager, Joaquin Restorazzo. Joaquin and, uh, Restorazzo? Joaquin Restorazzo. Restorazzo. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here is uh, Guillermo, and here's Epifanio, and uh, here's myself here. How old were you there? Uh, Thirteen. Here is Turino, here is Olaviaga, here is Tawal, here is Garate, here is Antonio Alvarez, and uh, Mateo, and uh, Julio Alvarez, and uh, Ugalde, Segundo, and the son of the player manager, Joaquin Restaurazo. What year was that? 1924. Where was that picture taken? In Hialeah, Florida. That was at Hialeah. Yeah. The old front end. Was that the first roster to play Hialeah, you know, professional in the United States, and was in the Hialeah front end, you know, as we mentioned before. Was that taken before the season started in 24? Do you remember? It was just uh, before the season started. That what happened to a lot of these players? Like well, Guillermo. Guillermo was uh, Guillermo was uh, my same age, only two months difference. Mm -hmm. He was two months younger than I was. And uh, Guillermo passed away about uh, three years ago. And, uh, he went on to become one of the greatest players that ever lived. Oh, right? yes, he was uh, one of the And you went on to become one of the greatest player managers that ever lived. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's the first one in Hialeah. Now what? That is Epifanio, who was, uh, he was the star of the Havana Van Dyke Fronton for many, many years. An outstanding really player. And teacher. And a teacher. And a very, one of the best teachers I know. And uh, I play very good here too. Pedro, move to the left a little bit there. Okay. Yeah, I want to see that picture of you and Epi now, which we got um, also. Oh. This is the first uh, person that received the uh, Pedro Mira Award at Pifanio. And that's in uh, September of 1983. Yes. That's 1924 at Pifanio with Pedro, and then 1983. Yeah. I, and Thanks that to the right Lord, we're still here. 59 <laughs> years later. 59 years later. Okay. Let's move on to something else now. What well, uh, this is some of the awards from the amateurs school. And uh, as you see, right? U.S. Amateur Highline Association. Father of Highline, Pilotori. And this is the Bass Society of Studies in America. That's right. They honored you. I remember that. And that. Uh, they named it the first uh, Hall of Fame file in the United States. Okay. Let's move down here. This is some of the Shriners, you know. Okay. And, uh, How about some of the, the roster pictures the here? These rosters here. Here you see Miami roster here with James Braddock and Mr. Berenson, Richard Berenson. That's gentleman James Braddock, the, uh, yeah. the heavyweight champion in the, the world. heavyweight champion of the world. I can't remember what year he was a heavyweight. What was he doing on that? the Miami court? In the Miami court, yes, yeah. sir. Remember what year around this was? That uh, was uh, 1934-35, sometime mm -hmm. around that. Here's 1925. Yeah, that's in New uh, Orleans. In New Orleans. Caribbean yeah. fronton, they call yes. it. That's the New Orleans roster. Yes. Is that right in front of the fronton? Right in front of the fronton, yes. Same player uh, manager? I have a picture later that I show you. You can see the fronton. Okay. Is that some the similar roster that you just showed in front of the Hialeah front fronton? A lot of the players were the same? There's a few. A few of them was there. What's this? And this was in uh, in New Orleans. Uh, no, Chicago. no, this is in Chicago. Rainbow Gardens. The Rainbow Gardens in Chicago with Paulino Scudum. He was a famous bass for boxer. And uh, he was fighting there in That's in 1928, Chicago. 1929. That's yeah. the 28-29 and where are you in that picture? There you are. Yeah. I cannot see on a camera. Yeah, yeah that's, that's you. The light. And what about and, that? Uh, this is uh, 
Do you see the name? Yeah, Biscayne Fronton, 1932-33. Yeah, yeah. So that's Miami Highlight. Miami Highlight. Was that the year before Berenson, or was that the first year of Berenson right there? 1932-33 is before. 33 uh -huh. is when Mr. Berenson and I started. I was not player manager then, I just was a player then. You were a player. There's only like 20 players on a the roster there. That's about yeah. all you had, huh? And up there at the top is the, the Hippodrome. Hippodrome in New York. 1938 in yeah. New York. Yeah. September 8, 1938. It's, you're the player manager on that roster, correct? Yeah. And chief judge and everything else. I had taller than I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see you in the middle there. And that was the year that I retired as a highlight player because I had to be, I stay in New York and Mr. Bernstein came to Miami. Right. And, uh, you know, and this is from the, in the war, they, uh, we decided to make a V for victory. Oh, Featured yeah. of the Highlight players. 1941, yeah. Miami. Yeah, the only war. This game front time. Okay. Very nice picture. That, still remember a lot of the players that played on that run? Oh, sure. There you are right there. Yeah. And here is the picture of the first time we wear the helmets. And here you see the date there. 1967, Thursday, March 23rd, first night, helmets were worn. What was the reaction of the players when you told them they had to wear helmets? Well, at the beginning, they were opposed to it, you know. And, uh, but in <laughs> they were very opinion, happy about it. <laughs> in my opinion, they really wanted, but, uh, you know, they felt that uh, it takes some of the uh, yeah, macho. Ma macho, you know, of the sport. So what we did is the first night, uh, we took the measurements and everything. They didn't believe we were going to do it. Right. So the first night, we let them wear the helmets in the players' room. Ah. Uh, see? Yeah. And uh, just for around. Then the second night, we let them use the, the helmets for practicing right. in the court. Right. Then the third night, the third night was already official. Uh -huh. So some of them say, well, we're going to get a headache and all that. So we <laughs> had three doctors there that night. <laughs> Nobody had a he headache, and mm -hmm. they were taken to death. You know, that it looks like Alfredo there. Yeah. I think it's Alfredo, huh? Yeah. And it's 1967. Okay. And they all accepted that the helmets pretty well. That was a great there. roster there. Right. And Down uh, here, just a more recent roster That is picture. the last roster that I prepare managed. What year was that? 1975. 1975, last year. What's this down here? That was a picture with that statue that is now in Fort Pierce. You know? Is that in front of the Fort Pierce front town, or is that Miami? It's now, and, and it's in Miami. Yeah. But they, they do, uh, you know, they didn't... want to take a picture and of you uh, in front of that statue. Uh, That's the Miami roster there? Yeah. Part of the roster. It yeah. was more, but uh, right. it was outside, you know. Okay, here's some excellent pictures of you over here when oh, you were yeah. your playing days. And the playing days. Can you go um, over here, Kevin, and see these? These are uh, Dan. And where are you going to start? Let's start down yeah, here. That's uh, my playing days with that uh, lousy uniform. <laughs> the shorts and the that basketball was, shirt. Yeah, that uh, boy. And that uh, how long picture ago was of me. Do you know how long? That, uh, Probably the same time this was there. Yeah. And uh, here is uh, Ugaldi and I when we were kids. That's in Cuba? In that Cuba, yeah. Oops. You know where that picture was taken? Uh, this one here? Yeah. In, uh... Which one? The little 19, one on the right? 1931. Big, big one. Oh, 1931. 1931. When I won the single sample. And you wore the long knee socks? All the players wore Yeah, all that. Uh, and the shorts. Huh? But the knees used to get bent to pieces. You yeah, know, I bet. <laughs> okay, what and is uh, this is just a group of players with me in the picture. Like Churruca. Churruca and uh, Ramayo. Or Betty second and Goyo. How long ago was that taken? Oh, that was Churuca's what, pretty young well. there. Yeah. And what about up here? So that, that's when the Churuca and them were on the roster in Miami. This was yeah, Miami. Yeah, yeah. What, what are they wearing? That was a championship, uh, you know, blue and red. You know, oh, they were uh, sash? Yeah. Okay. That's Gonzalez? Huh? That's Gonzalez getting an award from the Cuban paper. What's the picture at the top? The Looking picture at the top night. is a 1901 picture of all players from the old days. 1901? Where yeah. was that taken? In Cuba. The big front town? Yeah. Been? Look at that. Can you get that guy? Do you recognize any of those players? 
Yes, uh, if you can bring it down, uh, picture, I can tell you the names. Be careful with the name. Yeah, this is a good relic. So hold it out. Hold it down from the light. Okay. Okay, tell us about that. That is Isidoro, you know, one of the great uh, front men of the game. But I tell you some of the names here. Rosendo Garate, Manuel Pantaleon, Jesus Padigorria, Andres Treset, one of the best backcourts in the world, and then he was player manager for us in New Orleans and in Havana, Madrid. Aremayo, Bravo, Justo Vieta. Is that Aramayo relation to the Aramayos? Uh, no, hmm. as you notice, this is written with an E and he's with an A. Oh, right. Uh, Santo Suinaga Machin, one of the good players and bad court player. Was Machin the same Machin who had no. worked at Arbez? No. Uh, As a ball maker Mi and basketball? I tell you the reason they named him Machin. Millan, uh, Machin hit Millan in the head that uh, very bad. He was gravely ill. Mm -hmm. But he loved this guy. And for things or another, that he started putting names to the players and he named him Machin yeah. for. And then uh, uh, Luis Gardoy Lecumberi, Macala, very, very good player too. Eloy Gastelumende, who was later a player in the high line in Cuba, and also when we went to Peru, South America, he was the player manager. Blas Munita, very nice man. Isidoro Ruti, as I told you, one of the greatest back front men. Ricardo Sanchez Chiquito Run. You know, Chiquito Run was a a little with a hunchback a little right. bit. Manuel Guanaga and uh, Petit Pasiego and Feliz Escoriaza and Angel Urrutia. And this was 1901? Yes. And this has got to be one of the oldest roster pictures uh, that anybody yeah. has. Right? Yes, yeah, see here, rostered players of the highlight. Right. Yeah. That's great. You taking this picture? Uh -huh. That is the uh, uniform from Mexico when I play in the front on Mexico. <laughs> there they, they put a blue or red ribbon in the arm. You know, oh, that's how you tell whether well, you're yeah. one or two? Yeah. This is when I make the first communion. <laughs> how about the picture at the top? Picture at the top is one time we put the old timers. Yeah. Is it an old timer night? Yeah, old timer night. Did they all live through it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Apparently, yeah, since then there is one, two, three, four, five that pass away. No kidding. Boy, they aren't too young in that picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What year was that? Do you remember? No. Was that a Miami, that's a Miami Highlight? A Miami Highlight, but I don't remember from many, many years ago. So they did have an old timers night, Kevin. Yeah, not, right. uh, not our original idea. Yeah. What about uh, that, that, that little picture there? That's, that's me. That's you yeah, when you when were When I a was boy. a little kid, yeah, ball boy. What are you, about 12 years old then? No, I, there I was about uh, eight? eight or <laughs> nine, something like that. Came to take pictures of the Halai and stayed there for several days. Is that that had to be, uh, what year was it? That had to be in the early 70s? This is, I think, 73 or something. Something like that, yeah. 73. I have a magazine there, if we can find out the time. And that's uh, Gonzalez, and who's the players on the left? Gonzalez and... Is that Joey? Yeah, I guess yeah. it is Joey, isn't it? Yeah, when he was very young. It's, uh, I can't even tell you right now, Urquiaga. No, 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 it's not Joey. And uh, yes, Chief. Yeah, that's Joey. That's, that's Urquiaga and Assis and... Oh, where? Oh, in this picture? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought you say there. Yeah, no. down below there. Oh, oh yeah, there, yeah. It's Urquiaga, Urquiaga, Assis, Gonzalez, Enrique. Enrique. Ergenica uh, the second and narrativo. Right. Do you see this picture was taken with one? They have a special film. Special lens. And you oh, see him in the corner. Eye. You yeah. see him in the corner. And I'm in the corner there. Right. And there's this picture over here is again Pedro when he was. Uh, yeah, that's the famous picture. <laughs> famous Pedro picture. Yeah, a lot of reproductions of that picture. Okay. Uh, where was that taken? In the players' room. <laughs> In Miami Highlight? Yeah. Sergeant Bilko, huh? Yeah. How long ago was that? Oh, my gosh. Uh, he was bald. Uh, he, about he still looks like Sergeant Bilko. 35, 30, maybe a little look later than that. Yeah. So you see a lot of celebrities that came yeah. in here. Yeah. Uh, uh, those uh, benefit days on Sundays, you know? Mm-hmm. And there is Jacopo and uh, Mr. Berenson. 
and Billy Kofo was also there. You know, Jack on the right. Yeah. Newspaper right. Which one is he? Uh, 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 next to Mr. Burns. I see. Yeah. And the picture below is Jack this Dempsey. Mr. Jack Dempsey, one of the greatest, we not the greatest fighter in the world. You see, he gave me picture to me with best wishes from Jack Dempsey. Where did you meet him? Here. See, at one time Jack Kent was his manager, was his general manager here one time. See, many. Now here is uh, Bab Hope. He was at Miami Highway? Yeah. Bab Hope, and Mr. Barron yeah. next to him. And he went to the court to... Uh, and the, <laughs> Did he? In the, when we had the parade for that, uh -huh. and he got in. He was in the end, and he was touching the sector with the players in the back. <laughs> He looks like he was young then. That had to be a long yeah. time ago. Oh, yeah. That was in the 30s, 40s, yeah. early yeah. 40s. He had a full head of hair or a toupee. What's that down below? That's Jimmy Durani. Okay. So again, it's, it's Jimmy Durani with the hat on. Or yeah. It's Richard Berenson next to him. Who's that in the middle? That Who's was that? the guy that presented the trophy. He was the former consul of New Orleans, Cuban consul in New Orleans. So who's that right there? That's Buddy Berenson. That's Richard Berenson's son? Boy, yeah, he was different. Yeah. He was really young there. Yeah. And that's Hernando who won the the trophy. And this is uh, Pedro Mir. Pedro Mir, who <laughs> had a few pounds heavier than he did. Yeah. Down there in the bottom. And here we have the players. put the players in the players' room. How the players react to having somebody like that? Oh, they love it. Yeah, they love it with Bob yeah. and Jimmy yeah. Durante. Well, Jimmy Durante always kept his mouth open, didn't yeah. he, in those pictures? Always smiling. Look at that. He liked to play a little bit. That was when he was uh, in New York, at yeah. Hippodrome, and y'all were yeah. playing at Hippodrome. He came out on the court? Yeah. He tried it a few yeah. times? Yeah. He used to come a couple of times a week. Yeah. He, he loved it. He looks like a backcourt man. Yeah. <laughs> With that stomach. He, you know, he's, uh, he's left-handed, but he put the set in the right. Yeah. Was he a nice guy, Pedro? Very nice. Was he? He was oh, nice to the player. Oh, very jolly and pleasant and, and very nice. Who's that below? That's Mayor Clark. That's a recent picture. That's a Pedro Mir bus. Yeah. That's the newest one to the wall, probably, huh? It's, it's one where they unveil, uh, when they unveil the right. bus that the, so graciously the ball high right. gave me. What about this old picture way down? Here is a few of the new players that season, you know. And took a picture with well, me. Was that the rookie uh, the, year yeah, of Joey yeah, and Uriarte yeah, and Cammy yeah. and. Remy, Uriarte, Joe, G and Cammy, and. Um, forgot now. Uh, he's playing in Daytona now. Uh, oh. Gondra. Gondra. Mm -hmm. yeah, so mean. Mm -hmm. Phil Silvers again? Phil Silvers, Silvers is back in high uh, there? Sitting, yeah, huh? sitting in the audience. But this was uh, ladies later from Miami Beach. Uh -huh. yeah, from, uh, who's that down there at the bottom? Oh, this is Fred Warren. Oh, uh, that's, that's your buddy. Friend, that's my buddy, buddy, yeah. He was at ILI every time he was in the yep. work and he was with us. Yeah. Or we go in the afternoon and we he has about two suites there uh -huh. in the theater. And he had Coca-Cola and sandwiches and everything for us. And he, was, he played pretty good. Did he really? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Not Gene Sarazen? Yeah. Gene Sarazen and Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. Boy, Joe and Joe was a young one there, too, wasn't he? Yeah. They were on the court. Was that in New York also? No, no, here in Miami. Mm -hmm. Okay. Babe Ruth was he is your DiMaggio again presented a trophy. Where are you going now? Here, down, oh, down here. Who was the player, Pedro? And Hernando. He looked like he's 75 years old. Yeah, but he was a very good single player. Is that right? He's the one who won the single, uh, the double champion with me in Chicago. He was. So you were as old. You two were the same age there, or is he a little older? No, he's now? older. He passed away last year. The last picture up here is again Babe Ruth with, with one Guillermo. Of your is that Guillermo putting this? Babe Ruth and See, Guillermo. Babe, Babe Ruth made Guillermo look like a little kid, though. Yeah. Two of the greatest. Yeah. One in the baseball. two Babe Ruths, huh? One in baseball and one in high life. Didn't they call Guillermo the Babe Ruth of high life? Yes. Yeah. They, they called him that. Did uh, Did he tell Babe Ruth that? 
Yeah. Oh, he yeah. was very friendly. Okay, good. And here, I don't know, you see the... And this is uh, the old dimension. I don't know if you like to take a picture of that. That is uh, Some of the, how the game was supposed to start against the walls of the church, you know. Outside courts, sir? Yeah. Where'd you get those, Pedro? In the, From the Spain? Spain? They're getting old. Yeah, you better know.